Three, two, one, action. Hey guys, welcome back to Off the Record where we talk about whatever, whatever we, we want. want. And today, oh wait, we can't do this, huh? No, no social distancing. We're distancing ourselves because of Kobe. Kobe. But we will cheers each other's drinks. Cheers! Clink, 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 clink. That's smart. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, try this one, try this one, try this one. Cheers. You gotta try this one. <sighs> Second half, here we go. Yeah. Here we go, baby. Here we go. I gotta say, I've never been le less excited to leave this place than I am today. <laughs> less excited? <laughs> yeah, because like, when I leave this place today, I'm going back home and then I'm back whiskey. in isolation. Oh, that's why. You're in isolation with your wife. Yeah, but you're, no, you're the best, but but I'm just talking about... Yeah, I don't talk to him very much. Different people, yeah. You need different energies, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't realize how much I, I enjoy people too, like I said, like I just, it, it never really struck me. I was just like, oh, people suck, uh, I hate people. Dude, I got the opposite effect. So I've always been a very extroverted person, but mm -hmm. then the older I'm getting, the less extrovert I'm getting. And then by being home alone all day, every day for this last week, I'm mm -hmm. like, this is nice. With a kid too? Well, he's 12. He he has his own life. Okay. Yeah. See, he, I, he, my daughter like gets all in our mix. She be a, like, but she's funny, so it's like we let her slide. Yeah. But this is like the younger kid, like a, she almost feels like a younger sibling versus our kid. Though. How old is oh. she? That's fun. Fourteen. Oh yeah. 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 Cool. Is anybody here like nervous about what's going on? Like actually like scared? Maybe. Oh, I the have. The only thing I'm scared about is how people are reacting. Exactly. If you spend enough time on Twitter, I feel like you'll you'll That's go crazy. Why I'm you'll scared. Go because of Twitter. Store, because of that. I'm yeah. scared of yeah, like you, every time there's like a, a a warning goes out, like people go nuts and start buying up all the supplies because they're crazy. Like and Y2K. Then, yeah, and I feel like if we went on lockdown or something and they start running out of supplies, people, the crazy ones, yeah. are gonna start looting and yeah. acting like we're in a fucking apocalypse. What's and, crazy is you can and almost create see, the apocalypse. Can exactly, and create it. You can almost see a direct correlation. Like if on the news, they're like, we have enough hand sanitizers, everyone. You go to the store, that's exactly the thing that's out. Yeah. Then they talk about toilet paper. Or yeah. they talk about milk. the news. Yeah, it's just whatever the news, it's like there's this direct correlation of people freaking yes. out with what's being put on the media. And because I think that uh, we mani manifest the physical reality the from fear. our thoughts and our fears. Oh, yeah. yeah. So if everyone's scared about this thing happening, then it does happen. Like yeah. if everyone's scared about all the toilet paper running out, now all the toilet paper is running out because they're all scared about it. Like yeah. it wouldn't have run out if people didn't got, get all scared about it. Yeah. It would still be there. The crazier, okay. the crazier thing is like. Everybody ran out and bought this hand sanitizer. I didn't buy any when, of it. When everybody's yeah, at fucking home. Yeah. <laughs> You're at home. You can wash it. I understand buying a couple bottles because yeah. you might have to make a store run or something mm -hmm. like that. But most stores like have the wipes now and stuff yeah. like that. So you ran out and bought all of this stuff. And God, God willing, when this passes shortly, you're just gonna be at home with like 200 <laughs> bottles, and nobody's gonna buy it off of eBay. Uh, I think. I think. What, gonna buy it. You know what I think actually happened is that is all the gouger guys. Mm -hmm. They went out because yeah. there's a very popular story. Yeah. Yes. That this guy, he goes out, he gets 35,000 bottles or whatever. He goes yeah. across four states. He fills his entire house with with hand sanity, and then Amazon shuts him down. Right. Yeah. Amazon, Amazon and eBay. eBay too. EBay. Again, good for them. Price gouging is fucking unethical. It's immoral and that shit, right? But. I think that's what happened with hand sanding. I think toilet paper is a whole different story. Yeah. Toilet paper, I don't know why the fuck everyone's buying toilet paper, but ain't nobody selling toilet paper at a street. You know what yeah. I think it is? You remember Y2K? Yeah. So, why uh, Widespread panic. Yeah, because they were like, oh, there's 2,000, the computers aren't ready, they can't handle it going back to zero. They're gonna, they're gonna freak out. Everyone started buying up toilet paper and water bottles and stuff. And I think because we haven't had another like global panic before, that's the only one they remember. So they're like, 20 year reunion of this. That's hilarious. <laughs> this Y2K. Oh, that's hilarious. The craziest thing about Y2K is like, they're computers. They're smarter than us. Yeah. <laughs> so I think a computer just would go to no, like zero, 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 one. Like, you don't think. I remember they were saying, like, yeah, that all the electrical grids are gonna go out. We're gonna yeah. be left with no power. Like, yeah, I remember all of that. Yeah. Financial I remember system. all of that. But I was, like, even then, I was like, yo, like, Terminators would be so disappointed at us. They wouldn't even have to, like, arm themselves to the T. They would just come out and just, like, you guys are stupid. <laughs> let, us, <laughs> let us run you. Cause the only you're robots that were working okay back then was, like, Robbie the robot flipping pennies in his mouth. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember 90, 1999, uh, December 31st, and we were watching the TV because Australia was the first one to hit Y2K, and so everyone was like, did Australia get fucked? Yeah. And, <laughs> and they didn't. They're like, we're fine. And then everyone's like, yay. 
<laughs> they were just riding kangaroos and shit. And then China's like, <laughs> no, and then China's like, we still have two months. <laughs> We're gonna wait. Guys, no, but you know what though? I actually had a, a mini panic attack really? because of all this. Yes. So, you remember that day where Jess sent us that audio message about oh, yeah. possible lockdown and blah blah blah, yeah, like yeah. all that stuff. Immediately, because I had just had I had just woken up when I that was the first thing that I did when I woke up is listen to that audio message. And I woke up and I started shaking and I started crying because we had no food in the house. Zero food. Like we were like Oh yeah, because you guys had just moved in. We just moved in, we were waiting, so the next day we were gonna get a brand new refrigerator, so that's why we were putting off going grocery shopping for the longest time. Yeah. This was last Friday, right? I think it was, yeah, last Friday. And then Casey wasn't home and like Isaac was going like he was at school. And so I don't know, like all this, like immediately I just felt like this insane amount of like panic. Cause mm -hmm. I'm like we're gonna be locked in here with no food. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're not gonna make it. Aww. And then that's when like I started texting you guys, and I'm like, oh my god, I had to do a 10 minute meditation to calm down because I was Casey, like, was what talking about? the real shit, like how we're actually feeling about like, this. Yeah. But there's so you also have so many friends. We live like five minutes away. We have a shit. Ton. I think like it kind of went like black. Oh, like, yeah, of course, I see. this like, tunnel vision. Anxiety isn't. It's is not logical. No. Sure. Yeah. Plus, the human body can survive without food for seven days, so we'll be good for seven. days. How long can you survive without a haircut, Casey? <laughs> <laughs> I know, thank you. Not seven days. Not seven days. Not Casey, can you imagine not eating for six whole days even? Nevertheless, seven? True. No, the only True. thing that, that I think about when I have to put myself in that type of situation is like, damn, I'm gonna look so good <laughs> when I lose this weight. Like, that's that's that would be the only reason I would go on, like, naked <laughs> yeah. and afraid. Okay. Like, you, they come back off a of naked and afraid, they're like 17 or 25 pounds. Survivor. Survivor. Yeah. Yeah. You look hot. I'd be like, yo, I'd be so fucking hot, bro. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. It always bums me out when I see the Survivor, um, like, the fight finale because they've always had a couple months and they always look kind of fatter and I'm like, mm, they're not as hot <laughs> now. <laughs> but yeah, once we went grocery shopping and uh, there was like, I saw food in the pantry, food in the fridge, I'm like... How was grocery shopping? It wasn't that crazy. Like it was pretty, like I've never seen a grocery store like that. Oh, okay, I have, I have. Like the day before Thanksgiving is like the only other time you really see the grocery stores acting a little crazy like that, but I had never seen multiple shelves empty. Like mm -hmm. Did Casey tell you he, we ran into each other at the- Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. he told me. Yeah, they, they're just giving me tips on how to how to maneuver around the, the, the grocery store and stuff. Yeah, and there were like no carts and I'm like, I went to the store the same day you went to the store because I was like, oh shit, it was the day that they announced the state of emergency and that's what was like kind of yeah. scary because it was yeah. like, oh, what do we have right now? Like, could we survive off this? Yeah. And the only thing we didn't really have was like fresh produce or even frozen vegetables and stuff. So I went to the store, Steve went to the store in Studio City with all the like bougie Bougie people. ass motherfuckers. And then I went to the one in Van Nuys. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> Y'all hit two places yeah, at once? Yeah, two different types of neighborhoods and he's like everything cleaned out all the wow. produce every day. Like, Tofu's gone. <laughs> Satan gone. <laughs> Couscous. There's gone. no sprouts. Yeah. There's absolutely no sprouts. Forget it. <laughs> yeah, and mine was like all the toilet paper and hand sanitizer gone, but all the fruits and vegetables completely still How there. Funny. Like, funny. All the new what neighborhood you're in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we, we it's a Mexican neighborhood that white, that white potatoes gone, rice gone, pasta gone, sweet potatoes by the fucking buckets. Yeah. There was one. Nice. I know, at, at the grocery nice. store, it was a whole bunch of gluten-free pasta was all that was left. No one wants yeah, to touch Vegan that. food, yeah. stocked to the brim. I was like, oh, give me some of these vegan burritos. <laughs> you know what's the craziest thing? is like every movie that you've seen thus far, that talks about like a pandemic or aliens attack or something like that. It, the exact same thing that happened with their government happened with us. Yeah, yeah. With like it's no big deal, yeah, don't panic. It's not even a big deal. People are getting cured thousands by the day, hundreds of thousands by the day. By tomorrow, it won't even be a thing. And then it went to like, okay, it might be a little more serious than we thought, but it's Thanks no need to talking. panic. Everybody just relax. Nothing's going to happen. Nobody's getting locked down. Then the next week, all right, God, this is Delta Red, uh, Code Red. <laughs> we're, we're implementing a media shelter in process. Uh, guys don't go anywhere. And it's like, and then <laughs> the president was like, I take no responsibility for what happened. This is not my fault. He was like, bro, you told everybody to relax. It's like, yeah. it just chill. They literally said, this is not a big deal. Yeah. And then the next week he's like, that's ain't my fault, man. I ain't from China. It's like, what? And they have done absolutely exactly what the movies had taught us. And then we find out like, 
like movies aren't real and this isn't how it's going, but it was exactly how it's going. This is why the government, but look, look, this is a very small thing, right? Compared to- This is a good tester. It's a great tester. Like, There's, this isn't like 50% of people could die or anything. Yeah. This is a great tester, but this is why the government can't tell us about the aliens. Yeah. If we learn anything, it's because yeah. of this shit. Yeah. Everyone's freaking the fuck out, buying up all this out. kind of shit. If we knew about aliens, civilization would be ending right we'd now. Blow our we'd be at Burning Man and we'd be sitting in JK. It'd be Burning Man around. What if it was like eased in? Like how it has been eased in in Hollywood. Like we think. But they try to ease this in and we still freaking the fuck out. Well, I don't think they eased it in. I think they they just lied about it. They blatantly lied about it. They knew the stats, right? And they knew that if you come into contact with someone that you can be at risk. I just didn't think, I think they thought they, they would have a better handle on it. But it's like, when have you ever had a good handle on any pandemic? This is why I don't trust the government at all. Exactly. You think they wanted to spread it? Because huh? like I'm, 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 I'm big on the, all the conspiracies that are going around. So you think this is, um, <laughs> this is a... Always, yeah. always. What's the conspiracy that you feel like it is? Um, it was generated in a lab in Wuhan? Generated in a lab by the Chinese government. Mm -hmm. But there's also a concept that it plan? could be an American plant too. Could be. Cause it, cause, uh, the, Aren't you yeah. only allowed to believe in one? <laughs> no, no, I like all of them. Open minded. I like all of them. And the American plant idea is that China is an enemy of the US, right? The terrorists and all that stuff. Iran hasn't always been that nice to the U.S., but where where is it that it's been hit the hardest? Iran and China. What about Italy? Italy. Well, there's a lot of uh, why, smokers. Why Iran, Casey? Smokers. Why Iran? Let me tell you why. Tell and this is this I, oil. Oil. so much about the way that the world really works that Iran has denied. Iran's top leaders constantly, they're so close to China, they constantly moonlight in China. They fuck around in China, probably fuck Chinese prostitutes, all kinds of stuff. They're very connected to the Chinese government, especially the high levels of the Chinese government. So who gets sick first in Iran? The fucking top leaders of Iran. Like they're all, like a bunch of those guys have died out since then. So that's the point, right, is that you start to see exactly where everyone's allegiances are when you see who's dying where oh and who my has. Gosh, it's like if, if it's like getting an STD and then one person gets it and then the next person that gets it, you're like, oh, so you I fucked around with that person? Yeah, man, it is like that. It's so fascinating. But this is why I never trust the fucking government, man. They couldn't hide this, the sniffles, the Iranian people. Dude, China animals? couldn't hide the sniffles, and they, uh, they killed scientists yeah. oh, to try to hide it. They did. You know what I'm saying? Like, did, the yeah. world has tried to keep this whole thing, like, like tamped down, because obviously, you don't want to incite a panic, but at the same Are time- Are you scared of the whole thing, or not? I'm not scared in America, right. because we have very low rate. I'm not scared of the death rate, but the economic impact oh, yeah, is what I, part. that's what I'm scared yeah, about. Yeah. People that's losing their jobs. Yeah. Amen. Oh, it's like the cops yeah. are behind me. That feeling you get with the cops are behind you, yeah. that's what I'm feeling. Safety? Like, all the time. Well, well, security? He feels, he feels <laughs> <laughs> different feelings, Steve. Yeah. Like I'm about to get a hug from behind? Oh, that's always uh, nervous. Uh, that's uh, probably hug, how you feel. A hug with somebody that doesn't have pants on and is fully erect. I understand. And I'm thick. I got my mother's hips. So they're like, oh, oh. <laughs> hug it time. No, but that's what I'm saying. So in the U.S., I am more scared of, yeah, economic Yeah, uh, like people situation. are, people, I feel so bad for all the people losing their jobs right yeah. now. I, I'm just like, man, that's, that's going to hurt. A lot more uh, getting out of this is yeah. is that's going to hurt a lot more than what I think the repercussions of of people actually getting sick and dying exactly. is. So last yeah. Sunday, uh, the mayor came out, Garcetti came out and shut down movie theaters, gyms, fitness studios, and as you know, I own a gym, and so we have to shut down. And then so for two weeks, two weeks, um, our members can't come in. And but the part that I got hurt the most is all of my staff, they're hourly workers, mm. right? So they need to put in the hour to get paid. Mm. And a lot of these kids, because they're working hourly wages, they don't plan ahead like months ahead. So they don't really have savings, so they're counting on these hours. Yeah. So those are the guys that I feel the worst about. So uh, me and Gio, we forego our um, like two or three months of our gym pay, so we just pay them up front, and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do later. Because a lot of these guys are like, fuck, what the fuck do, do I That's do? That's really like, nice. I, I, I know a lot of small businesses right now who are forced to like lay off their employees so that yeah. they have the best chance to get unemployment, yeah. so that like they can collect unemployment. So they're basically like, we'll, we'll temporarily lay you off, and we'll rehire you as soon as we can. If they can't even it, come back from it. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of unrest. The company to come back too. Right. Yeah. This, we yeah. were filming at a camp studio um, a couple days ago, and, and there's this candy store on the corner of where his, his studio is. Now, on this intersection, there are literally like eight schools, like middle schools, high schools, elementary, right? And they got that location 
specifically because of the schools in the area. Well, all the it's schools kind of are different. closed. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you plan for them, like, November to, like, January for it to be slow. Mm -hmm. Right? It's Christmas break, kids are out, all that. You plan Summer all break. year yeah. for yeah. that. But when something like this happens, then, like, this is the beginning of the year. Like, yeah. it's not even spring. It wasn't even spring break when they shut everything down. So it's like, how do you come back from that? Yeah. Well, yeah, and like, how many airlines are gonna stay in business? Remember, I remember like, uh, like a, a like twenty years ago or whatever, a bunch of airlines went out of business because uh, they couldn't keep up with after 9/11 mm. happened. They couldn't like all the ticket prices were way too low and like they couldn't keep up. So a lot of airlines went out of business. I feel like the same thing is gonna happen. With I'm, a, I'm gonna be honest with you. Outside of Delta and Southwest, I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to the people that work at the other places. I just don't like the way they treat us. Like with the Jeopardy? charges, well, it's more so like like the the fees, like yeah, fees are crazy. The taxes that they have already hit you with, and then the the change fee, that two hundred and fifty dollar change fee every time, shame on you, American. Well, hey, shame on fucking uh, Vegas for all the resort fees too. Oh my god, right? Ooh. They're closing hotels right now, and I'm like, bullshit. Good right. bitch. They <laughs> they charge resort fees, and they don't Carmel. even have fucking <laughs> breakfast. Like, how are you gonna charge me a resort fee? Yo, I don't even know what that is, bro. It's just a way to, for them to throw an extra tax in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even That's have legal. Right. Yeah, it's an extra 40 bucks a day, yeah. no matter what. It's wow. like, yeah, it's like double whatever your, your trip is, you can double it. And then you have to also put down like the um, the deposit. Mm -hmm. So like you have to pay for the room, taxes, resort fee, and then $50 a day deposit. Shame on you too, Vegas. But you know what? Vegas also knows that, that we'll still keep coming, so fuck you, Vegas, <laughs> for that too. Yeah, I'm, I, just, I, just, I just come through the week. I just, uh, Tuesday through Thursday, you can clean up That's in Vegas. <laughs> That's $33 a night. And Crafts, so go to fucking Banyans? Oh, yeah. Spend $15 max, <laughs> play for 17 <laughs> hours? Mm-hmm. Penny slots and free drinks. Yeah. All you do is just tip at the slots. Are any casinos even open right now? I think most of them are closed. Circus, Circus is probably open. Oh, you can count on it. <laughs> yeah. You could count on getting COVID there. Yeah, you could. You know, Circus Circus Circuit Circus is like, uh, did the building burn down? <laughs> <laughs> then we're still open for yeah, business. I think so. Well, half of Are the casino's a tent, right? Though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. True. Well, all the cigarette smoke in Circuit Circus probably kills COVID. <laughs> could happen. Oh. That could happen. I don't, I'm not a fan, though. Like, I think I think a lot of these big companies, uh, like, I heard that the some of the airlines already approached the government like, hey, we need a $50 billion bailout. It was like, bro, we need a rent bailout. Yeah. Like, if, if I'm hearing that, yo, we're not gonna hit you with eviction notice or anything like that. that that's cool. that's cool, yeah. but the, yeah, reasonable will be, we're going to pause rent. Yeah. Just telling me you're not gonna hit me with an eviction notice means that, all right, well, we'll take this much rent and we'll put it at the end, or we'll spread yeah, it out. Yeah, like it's out. building up. It's still building up. So then what about the poor renter who's like, oh, I need my, I want my six thousand dollars this Wait, month. Well, but but like if you are pay, if they're paying like a mortgage on that and they're renting yeah. it out to tenants, no, like they, they still have to pay the mortgage. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They absolutely they do. That. But here's the thing though, like let's say the mortgage on this building is ten thousand dollars, right? Mm -hmm. But from every uh, renter, you're getting thirty-five, four thousand dollars, right? So you've made mortgage. I don't feel bad for those people. Yet. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. I'm like, even these, yeah. these, I say in a small complex, it's like eight eight units of mine. But I know, like, from what I'm paying, and like, I don't even have the biggest apartment, but I know from what I'm paying. Me and one other person pays a mortgage right, on the building, right. and there's six other units. So I hope like, they suspend taxes. Oh, suspend taxes. Well, they they push back taxes. Yeah, they push back taxes Good. for 90 days. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, oh, 90 days. If they could just take taxes away for this year. That'd be cool. Oh man, like, yeah. that's what they should. Honestly, for yeah. stimulus, like they should do this that. One year. My whole thing is the government imposed this problem on us. Like, exactly. like the reason why you can't go out and go to the bar or whatever, obviously it's because of COVID-19, but the government's the one Ooh, saying stay home. COVID. Sorry, COVID. COVID. But, but the, government's the, ones, the government's the one saying stay home, right? So yeah. so it's on them to to make up the difference. Or to, and I'm gonna be honest oh. with you, like this this $1,000 a month stimulus is, is, is helpful yeah. in Montana. But a thousand, <laughs> like seriously, like $1,000 here? Like, like literally, bro. What's the number here? Well, it depends, because if you have a family of three, say, yeah. or four, I think, you get like three grand, maybe. Okay. So, yeah. are, they, are they gonna do it family based? That's what I heard. Okay, yeah. that would be great. Yeah. But like, just doing it like a thousand dollars, like, bro, like, what? That's not even rent. That that's not even half what you're losing yeah. from not, not being. Able, and that's not even like utilities and food. Yep. And the only thing you're saving on right now is gas. They're not like like car insurance isn't giving us a break. Health insurance isn't giving us a break. I utilities isn't giving them a break. Question, teacher. Netflix sure doesn't give me a break. <laughs> Come on, Netflix, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Okay, my question is, you know how they always talk about like the nation, nation national, national debt? debt? Mm -hmm. 
What is that about? Because like, doesn't the government have money? Or like, why is it in debt? I don't know, there's a whole conversation. Not in trillions like that. Yeah, we don't, I mean, that's, we don't have the liquid, I think, to pay the debts. Like, we're in debt to, what countries are we in? China. To? Well, mainly China. Mainly China. Yeah. So we, we have debt to them. I guess I'm thinking, like, if the government decided, which they will, probably wouldn't, but just like, okay, pause on every transaction or like whatever. Everyone's in a crisis right now. No more mortgages, no more fees, no more whatever. Just freeze all movement. Um, would they be able to cover it? No. Well, no, but, we, if we, but, but the guy, we're gonna buy a bunch of China gift cards. So basically, right, if they, they freeze all of that, then all of these, all of the places that are freeze are going to ask for bailouts. So the entire, like, real estate, like, I'm sure would ask for government for a $100 billion bailout. It's like, oh, well, we're losing money because the tenants aren't paying. So we have to still pay all this up. Like, somebody, in, or, then, or the banks are going to ask for more be money for bailout. Because, like, oh, well, these people can't pay their mortgage on these properties, so we have to take this off. Somebody's going to take that loss. I just don't think it should be the little man. Because yeah. these businesses have... Uh, checks and balances set up in place in their insurance for them to be covered for stuff like this. The same thing with I feel like that's that happens when you have um, somebody slips and fall at work, uh, yeah. workers comp. Yeah. Yeah. Like those type of insurances are set up in places for emergencies like this. The only people that don't have emergencies are the, are is the Wall Street. Street. Regular people. Yeah. No. Oh, I was so <laughs> close. Especially like entrepreneurs. I was so close. I was hoping that you know. I just hope that we we bail out Wall Street again. I I I, I, I really do. I will backhand you out of that. Sh